Hey, how's it going developers? In this video, I'm gonna show you five perfect projects for web developers who are in the beginning phases of their tech journey. Now, full disclosure, these projects probably aren't gonna get you a job. They're probably not even gonna get you a callback. Oh, oh, I, I just heard some people clicking out of this video. These projects can really help build your foundational skills, leading you to the next level so that you can create some really good projects for that portfolio that you're gonna be submitting to employers that will call you back and ideally hire you. So let's just get right into it. Project number one. Most of you have heard of this thing, if not used one recently, to-do list, to-do app, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, lots of examples on CodePen to explore if you're trying to figure out how these things work. And what I like about CodePen too is that not only do you see the final result right here, but the code is also on the same screen in these convenient little boxes. So we have our little HTML box, we have our CSS and our JavaScript over here. And basically the to-do app, for those of you not familiar with it, it's like an interactive list of things you have to do throughout the day. For example, this is usually on my to-do list. Hit enter or hit the green button, maybe, perhaps and it's added to the list. And now that I've added that, let's just add another thing. How about eat more pizza? Cause that's usually on my list as well. We'll add that. And as you see, the item, the to-do item popped up. Now, what if I wanted to get rid of it? Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's slick. I just click on it and it's done. It's not a to-do anymore. It's a to-did. Now, of course, you don't have to use CodePen, but it is a pretty good place for finding out what other people are up to. Maybe get some ideas, especially when it comes to UX UI. You can easily see all these examples here. Let's go to this one, Vue.js 2.0. Now, this is a more advanced one used with the Vue JavaScript framework. For newbies, maybe not recommend using Vue right off the bat if you're new to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Just to illustrate what this is all about, there we go. Let's check out this one, HTML5 local storage to do. Again, your HTML is right here, CSS in the middle for styling, and then JavaScript for that functionality. There are so many variations you can incorporate into this one. It's one of my favorites when it comes to newbie dev projects. Number two on this list, Yelp Camp. My Udemy people, my Udemy web devs know what I'm talking about. My Colt Steel fans know what I'm talking about. For those of you not in the know, Yelp Camp is the cult classic, or should I say cult classic project that you build in Cold Steel's web development bootcamp. It's an amazing application. It's a full stack app, but it is for beginners. This project is the capstone project. It's what you focus on the most in that Cold Steel course, but you don't have to enroll in this course to create this project. You can check it out on GitHub. There are plenty of people who have posted the code there and you can check it out. It's a full stack application where users can submit campsite information, review the campsites, upload photos. Of the five projects, this is the most labor intensive one. It does take a long time, but as far as full scale, full applications go for beginners, I think you're gonna be hard pressed to find a better one to do because there is such a great community around that bootcamp and around this project. And there is a lot of code from Yelp Camp floating around where you can investigate how other people tried building this thing. Moving on to number three, I'm gonna turn it down a few notches. I know this last one was like, Number three is a landing page. A landing page, essentially, you type in the URL and the thing you land on, that page, landing page. I know, they didn't get very creative with that one, but this is an example of a landing page for google.com. Recreating a landing page or even one of your own is a great way to practice HTML and CSS. And unlike Yelp Camp, where you're using some 
let me see, would I say advanced technologies? Relative to HTML and CSS, these technologies are advanced. Bootstrap, Express, Node.js, and Mongo. You can just relax with HTML and CSS by creating these elements. You can do everything from scratch. You can use a framework like Bootstrap. And if you're feeling frisky, you can even add some JavaScript functionality. For example, up here, there's a sign-in option. These landing pages are a great way to practice a practical skill set. Building landing pages is a very common thing, whether you're freelancing or doing that nine to five. And I will mention here, I have a course called Portfolio Surgery. So if any of these projects that I talk about today sound interesting and you want to take them to the next level, check out this course. I show you five methods for transforming your portfolio projects. As I stated at the beginning of this video, these projects as is probably won't get you a call back. They're not going to get you that interview because these projects have done, have been done a million times over, sometimes literally a million times over. But with this course, we take projects like photo galleries, like landing pages, and tr totally transform them into projects that employers care about. Check out the course portfolio surgery. It's also a book, but getting back to this landing pages, everyone uses them. It's a great way to practice those HTML and CSS skills. And again, if you're feeling like putting some JavaScript in there, you can easily do that as well. I pick google.com as a landing page because we all know Google and it is super, super minimalist. <laughs> Number four on the list, I will admit, calculators can be pretty boring, but you can do a lot of cool things with them. You can create a calculator for anything that interests you, and they're a great way to practice not only HTML and CSS, as we see on this codepen.io example, these six examples here, lots of various layouts and buttons and colors, but also that functionality. So, ooh. Ooh, I like that. Look at this. Is this person not using any JavaScript? Interesting. Interesting. So you can get a lot of ideas on CodePen just by just by Googling, just by code penning. Maybe this could be a new word just by searching for the word calculator. That's all I did. And I can assure you there are hundreds, if not thousands of results here. Um, but what I like about the calculator app is that it takes these basics, HTML and CSS, you know, for the styling, for the buttons, for the background, but also the JavaScript and the computational stuff used to compute numbers in your calculator. Tip calculators, those are also good ones. Very practical. They can be fun too, especially when they start working. That's a really fun part. It feels very validating. Here's a BMI calculator, compound interest. Think about anything that you can plus or minus and you can make a calculator out of it. It doesn't have to have all these, you know, Texas instrument symbols on it. You could have a, just numbers and a plus sign or a minus sign, depending on how creative you wanted to get. Last but not least on the list of five best web developer projects for beginners, the personal portfolio site. I love this idea for newbies because it's practical. You can get super creative. This is another one where you can just stick to HTML and CSS. Or if you want to get crazy, you can put JavaScript in there. If you want to even get crazier, you can use something like a static site generator. Your imagination can take this portfolio site anywhere it wants to go. Also, if you finish a portfolio site and you don't like the look of it, no one says you have to keep it around. When I was first starting out, I had like four different portfolio sites I was working on simultaneously because I just wasn't satisfied. Finally, I built one that I really liked and got me my first dev job. Here I am at juliacodes.com. This is a portfolio I discovered, I don't know, maybe last year or two years ago. Love the layout of this portfolio. It's clean. Now, I'm not sure all the technologies she used, but you can see these little nuances here. If I hover over her project forecast, you see that, that little effect there? You can build this effect so many different ways. Your imagination is your only limitation when it comes to the personal portfolio site. So if you have an unlimited imagination, you're really gonna enjoy this project, I think. Decor, a tool designed to help web developers build live custom templates and export code. Coffee by Benjamin. But you see these little components. All of these things took 
code to build. Sometimes when we use these sites, we don't think of how much work it took to actually build them. But even things like the spacing and these buttons and the way those are styled, that all came down to code and design decisions. And I think of all five of these projects, this is probably my favorite one because I'm all about that practical, actionable stuff that you can do as a developer. Worst case scenario, you don't like the way it looks, you just build another one. So to recap the five perfect projects for web developer beginners, number one, to do app, number two, Yelp camp, number three, landing page, number four, calculator, and number five, personal portfolio site. If you enjoyed this video, please feed the algorithm some food with a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos and check out portfolio surgery. I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next video.